starting with off-grid power scenarios. To set up your power kit, align the mounting brackets of your power hub according to where you placed your batteries. Place the power hub into the bracket until it locks in place and screws the bottom mounting bracket to secure the power hub. Pick a spot to place your batteries close to your power hub and stack them either vertically or horizontally. Once decided how to stack the battery, you can use the mounting clamp to secure them in place. You need to screw the clamp into the battery first, then place the battery by the wall and screw the clamp firmly to secure it. Make sure you connect the battery to the power hub before stacking your batteries vertically for easy setup. With your batteries and power hub set up, you can move on to your smart distribution panel. Follow the installation guide to mark a suitable distance and space for your panel. Then, screw the provided clamp into the panel and place the panel on the planned position for fixing in place. Secure it in place with the provided screws. This can be done to replace your old panel or set up for the first time. After placing your distribution panel, you should move on to the wiring. First, draw out all the cables of your DC and AC appliance of choice. Then take the DC main out and AC main out cables from the power hub. Then wire them into place. After finishing the wiring process of the panel, screw the inner cover of the panel in place and close the outer cover of the panel. The console is used to control your power kit. To install it, measure the space to install the mount. Next, connect the monitor with the RJ45 cable. Then insert the console. Since you are installing your power kit off-grid, which has no alternator, so you can use the alternator input port as another PV solar input port. Then, use the solar charge cable to connect your solar panels to the power hub. Presuming you've finished your AC and DC wiring inside the smart distribution panel, just connect the power hub to the panel and the power kit console using the RJ45 CAN cable, DC main out cable, and AC main out cable. Finally, Press the power hub button for three seconds to bring your system to life. Use the console or EcoFlow app to control and monitor. That's the basics of how to install your power kit for the first time. Need more tutorials? Head to the EcoFlow support channel for specific tutorials in even more detail.